Welcome everybody to the H Wars. Today we are ranking the Princess movies from the official Princess lineup. This means that there are 12 movies in total, and we are not including Frozen since the updated list from 2021 no longer includes either Queen Elsa or Queen Anna since, of course, they are no longer princesses. We'll be starting at our bottom and working our way to our favorite Disney princess movie. Settle down, this is going to be a doozy. So, at the bottom, the least favorite of this group is Snow White. It has, out of a possible 36 points, a score of 36. It ranks bottom for everyone. Though it is definitely a classical masterpiece with very important animation and film development, there are reasons we don't like it. Does anyone have something? We can appreciate it, what it was. We can appreciate what it did. We cannot appreciate watching it now, though, because none of us like it. Okay. Yeah, there... Snow White doesn't seem to have much character development. She's just kind of there. It's you know, she simple storyline, nothing too hooking. Yeah, uh, to me, Snow White doesn't develop as a character. The plot is very straightforward, though it does have a very nice villain death with the lightning strikes, which is, was really difficult to do in the day. Um, and did help give us a name for our channel. the eight doors. Yeah. But, um, I don't think Snow White's a good film. I think that people are welcome to enjoy it and appreciate it, but personally, I do not. Anything else on that front? No. I was going to say we all basically have the same opinion. It's easy. We don't like it. So low. Next up, and I know people will disagree with this, is Pocahontas. Of a possible 36 points, it got 31 points, which is higher the points, lower you rank. So... Why do people not like Pocahontas? Um, it doesn't do anything particular for, particularly great for me. It The characters, eh, the songs aren't anything spectacular. With that said, the instrumentals are nice, and I do appreciate Colors of the Wind. I think it's much better than this movie deserves. Yes. But in the middle of the Disney Renaissance, it we should not be lag. getting this. Exactly. Right? You've had, in the last few years, Aladdin, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast come out. And then you hit with Pocahontas. And though for many people enjoy it, I think that there are parts where it's lacking. Additionally, and this is just my opinion, the ending, it's just so disappointing. It didn't... And then they made a sequel, and we don't talk about that like we shouldn't talk about Pocahontas. Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't even know there's a sequel. I did not know there's a sequel. Um, yeah. Also, like, the animals in it don't partake. There's no one you want to... There's a raccoon. There is a raccoon. <laughs> I feel like in an era where we had great comedy, mystique, and animation, it just falls short we on We did have Pocahontas. <laughs> uh, next, we have one of Walt Disney's last films, Sleeping Beauty. So... Sleeping Beauty scored 30 out of 36, which is only one point above Pocahontas. Um, I'm the one who gave the highest rating to Sleeping Beauty, because, again, though it is not a wonder, I don't greatly enjoy the movie. I think that the character of Aurora is bland, and the prince doesn't do anything for me. I think that Maleficent is a very interesting villain. Yep. And the end fight scene is redeemed so much of it for how beautiful it is, and also, the animation that this lends to future films is very important. Like, if you could only watch two parts of Sleeping Beauty, I would watch the dress scene with the fairies, because it's hilarious, and the fight scene at the end, which is spectacular. Yeah, our producer's a big fan of the dragon. Um, but, uh, I mean, this gave us Descendants, didn't it? <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean... Oh, <laughs> But, uh, possible. yeah, she says dress scene and fight scene, I say final fight scene, and the dancing in the woods. That is gorgeous. And, again, the fairy tale adds to the story, unlike in Snow White, where I feel like it's just another part that's yeah. disconnected. So, and, what, if I can just yeah, in. go ahead. Not related, really, to the film, but does anyone else remember those commercials with Sleeping Beauty would be remastered yes, in the dancing the diamond scene? collection, and they'd show it, and that, that is lovely. Because, honestly, that was, And like, I don't hate Once Upon a Dream. No, Once I Upon a Dream's good. I think the fair, 
like instrumentals, the the score for it is very nice. Um, next up we have Cinderella, Cinderella. So y- me and Marie liked Cinderella more than Sleeping Beauty, but you liked it less. Than I like Sleeping Beauty. I like it less than Sleeping Beauty. Uh, I know that some people say that Cinderella is a very <coughs> bland, useless character. I mean, she's bland, but she's not necessarily useless. Like, yeah. it's not like she goes to the dance for the prince. I can't appreciate pretty dresses. The dress is lovely. I can't appreciate that because she didn't even know who the prince was. Yeah. Right? And, um, I like, like, the, it has some good music, music I don't, in it. I, I like the Some music iconic songs. Better than the music in Sleeping Beauty and Snow White, though I don't think the scoring is as good as it is in Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. And it gave us those amazing sequels. Yeah. This also only got two points higher than Sleeping Beauty with 28 out of 36. So it's not that big of a difference, right? We moved from our bottom tier to a little bit higher with Cinderella, but it wasn't high enough. Also, appreciating Cinderella, just what it did for, like, Disney in the parks and in merchandising, I can... In the future. In the future. They capitalized um, on that, you know? You know, so that's always something to look for, yeah. but as a movie... I do like the beginning, though, with the paintings of her and her father <laughs> before he dies. She also just does her job and just yeah, I, without complaining. Do it. Do it good. Uh, next up, we have Ray. This is a point higher than Cinderella with 27 out of 36. So it is almost 10 points higher than Snow White. Cool. Uh, this is our first and only <laughs> Pixar movie on the list. And let me say... When we saw this film in theaters, there was a lot of technical difficulties with it. Things broke down, the screen glitched out, which I think has permanently changed our perception of the movie. Even though we try to view it with a clean slate since then, uh, I still don't enjoy it that much. Yeah. I personally think that I don't enjoy the movie that much. I don't think it's a great movie. I know some people do, but I do think the animation is very nice. Yes, the animation is lovely, as Pixar does, uh, and I think the scenery is especially magnificent, but I'm not a huge fan of bear stuff going on. I do enjoy the family interaction, specifically between Merida and her father, but just, uh, there's something about her and her mother, which I do not enjoy or cannot connect with, as well as the fact that I don't think the story is as strong as other Pixar stories are. Exactly. It doesn't make me want to cry. Um, and it, like, maybe this is just me, but it feels almost like How to Train Your Dragon Before a Princess. But not as good. <clears throat> but not as good. How to Train Your Dragon is excellent. Yes, you but, should. Um, <laughs> but the thing about Brave is that this is during the era where they just used adjectives as names. So, you know that <clears throat> at least it is surrounded by other wonderful, wonderful movies like Tangled, Frozen that is not on here. And Princess and the Frog was right before it. So, moving on from Brave, wonderful animation, not a good film. Uh, we have Mulan. Mulan. 20 points. 20 points, which is 7 points difference between it and Brave. Brave is 27, Mulan is 20, which is huge. Yeah, like this is the stuff from here up that I would say we enjoy watching we get, there is a huge gap in the quality of movies here yeah um i really do love mulan mm-hmm. i think the music is amazing Lisa I Longa just, is excellent I um uh, make a man out of you every song in there is every, every song is there it looks nice i enjoy the story i understand mm-hmm. the musical transition at the end of a girl worth fighting for but i think cinematically it could be improved on. Other than that, 
like the character of Mulan. She she has personality in that, which is fun. There's a plot. There's she has a drive. kick it. Yes. It's she a great kick it. She, she kick works it. for her family. You which have something to root for. Yeah. We, you want her to do well. Um, The side characters are good. I do have a question, though. If, if they were going to send her back home if she wasn't doing well in the army, why didn't she take that? Like, yeah, maybe all of China would be doomed. But, I mean, I don't understand that. Want to make a good movie? Want <laughs> Movie. Uh, suspense, suspended disbelief. But, like Mulan, enjoy the music. Animation's beautiful. Yeah. Story's there. She is technically not a princess, and that's okay. There is some good comedy in it. Love interest makes sense. The love interest makes sense, because they spent a bunch of time around she each other. She hard. She's a hard work. I do enjoy when they work hard and have a goal and motivation. It's not I like the just dragon. gotta work. She, there is comedy in there. I mean, Eddie Murphy is an issue, is a choice. Um, it's no Shrek. But what can you do? But what can you do? <laughs> Nothing so, is. So, going up from Mulan, we go to our top six. It's like top tier. Though okay. Mulan is wonderful, this is where it gets to... The teens and lower numbers. And it is perfect. To mention here, the Mulan is, of course, the animated one, not live action. Yes, all of these movies are animated. We're ignoring the live action things. Um, So, going up for Mulan, with a score of 17, we have Moana. Now, I've gone to see Moana many times in theaters. Yeah. Next to Frozen, I think, is my most seen Disney movie in theaters. Um, Let me see. The water is so pretty. The animation is lovely. Um, her having such a dedication to do everything she's doing to save her family and the village. village. Like, everything she does is, yes, the seat is involved, but she would have done this regardless of exactly. that seat. Um, she's a strong character. Maui is a great character as well, with a little bit of a kind of, not an anti-hero, but he's definitely not a solid good guy. You got the rock there, though, which is nice. He, when he s- sings You're Welcome, you're like, yeah, th- this was the right character. The grandmother is amazing. So sweet. The songs, I really just like the music. music. I like well. the music, which is weird, because I don't think I should like the music. But, like, I will listen to the playlist. I, I will listen to it forever. I mean, not a huge the Mulan this fan. But, the writing is nice, the composition is nice, I feel like all the musical pieces add to the story. Yep. Um, I, oh, so, it looks beautiful, you can get that by looking at anybody, a uh, part of it, but especially the crab, I forgot its name. The shiny crab. His name is escaping his mouth. Yes, he's played. He's, his singing voice is done by Janine Clemens. I'm not sure if that's who plays. It's just a shiny crab, guy. Uh, yeah, I'm playing it on the name too. That crab is lovely. Uh, the use of light is wonderful, and they actually had to change how they did water for the film for the animation, which is super interesting uh, to learn about. One other thing I really like. Then she about puts the shell on top of the rocks. You know, I am the final one. Um, one other thing I really like about Moana is that. Sometimes in movies, it feels like your protagonist gets powers without real purpose to them, and it feels like her powers, um, with, like, her water manipulation, it's very purposeful and used well And the, the thing plot. is, it's not her powers, right? It's the ocean, it's the ocean guiding, guiding someone who they feel has a nice connection, which I think, also, the way they do, um, Samoan and Pacific culture is very well done, right? Except for the chicken. Everyone in there is from that region. Yeah. Um, I also love the pig, just to point that out. The pig that they used a lot in promotion but never showed up? Yes. Uh, (laughs) And baby Moana's the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, so, um, I really like how they actually have a story about why they didn't want her to be the water. She's like, nope, no water for you! There's a story, you have something going on there. Yes, back story. story. Um, also that, although she doesn't want to be tied down and be the, um... Village chief. Village chief. chief. 
she just wants to help her family. Yeah, again, it, it, everything's for family, which is lovely. So moving up from that, we have someone who people have very different views about what we say about Moana. With a point difference, so a total of 16 here, is The Little Mermaid. Okay, let me say something about Ariel quickly, okay? And I have heard a lot about this, I've talked with people about this, and this comes up a lot, that Ariel would have done what she did. She would have become a human no matter what, right? Like, the fact that her family wasn't the nicest to her, and that there was a cool man involved, is basically regardless, because she almost got killed for it by a shark for a fork. So... That's there. Yeah. Also, Jody Benson, wonderful. The song's lovely. Ursula is such a cool villain mm-hmm. because where everyone else is just like, okay, I want to ruin stuff here. She comes along, she's like, no, no, I want this. I'm taking the kingdom, yeah, and like, and I don't care who I mess with. Ursula this. is the first villain who wants it, just for not for revenge, not for, you know. Whatever. She w- she wants the power, and that's fun. Um, music's oh, nice. <laughs> All the characters feel like they have a There's reason a they're point, there. There's a right? That's nice. Like, even the eels that Air Ursula uses, they have a reason to be there. The people in the castle have a reason to be there, which I think is different than a lot of earlier movies, or even than Moana, where the pig didn't need to be there, but they wanted to add that merchandise. Yeah. I feel like everything in The Little Mermaid, you you can connect to. And, let me say, Kiss the Girl is wonderful. It's a great love song. And Prince Eric's one of my favorite Disney princes. Yeah. Um, I also think that a lot of characters from there, they're memorable. 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 Thank you. Enough that you can say the name and people will know it without having to describe the character to them. Yeah. Um, so... After Little Mermaid, we stay within that Renaissance era and the wonderful work of Alan Menken and some influence by Howard Asher there. We go up to Aladdin, where uh, where the Little Mermaid had 16 points, Aladdin has 13 out of 36. Right in, not in the middle. My math is correct. Wrong. Take that out. Note yourself. Okay, so right there we have Aladdin. Which, of course, since this is the ranking of Disney Princess movies, this is the one featuring Jasmine, Aladdin, Genie, with Robin Williams, not the live-action one. A lion. A tiger. A tiger. Raja. <laughs> Raja, yeah. Uh, Iago the bird, Jafar. Amazing villain. Great villain. The, the carpet. Monkey. The carpet. The monkey the Abu. So, the elephants on Peru. I think that this has a really interesting start. Because it ha- it starts with two care opening songs, two ca- songs for the world and character building with Arabian Nights and One Jump Ahead. So I think One Jump Ahead is okay. excellent. I love it. Yeah, I always forget how much I like Aladdin until I'm watching Aladdin, and I'm super happy. Uh, Arabian Nights is interesting. I really like Arabian Nights. I think the thing about Arabian Nights is that they didn't go back to the original genie seller lamp seller storyline so they could have easily used that for the opening present credits and then gone to one jump yeah um one jump's wonderful then you get the uh, i want song which is one jump repraise you have aladdin being quite nice and sharing his bread with children um getting his arm flapped because children were going to get hit uh Jazz well, was really. Jasmine actually, you know, does something, which makes her fun, much better than many other classic princesses. There, right? Like she is a tiger. She's fun. A tiger. Um, she she actually wants. She things. wants. She just want. She just wants to have a say, right? Like yeah. She doesn't nice just sit see. there like, oh, I'm gonna get married now. No, I'm gonna choose who I'm getting married to. Yeah, goes on a whole carpet ride across the world with him. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Genie Spectacular. Who's a genie, guys? Yeah, Genie Spectacular. The music of Aladdin, a lot of the songs are really good. They're really good. The animation with the songs is amazing. Robin Williams has fun doing his thing in there. Jafar's great. Jafar's great. in this movie, really. It's just a good. It's good. It's, it's a, good. It's a solid it's watch. It's a solid watch. It's just, just this is, movie. If I'm like, 
okay, I want to put on a movie that I'll have to pay attention to, have to be doing work or something, I'll put on this one because I'm happy whenever I'm paying attention to it, but I don't feel like I'm completely lacking something whenever I'm tuning out because I know the movie. I'm familiar with it. It's yeah. lovely. It also has a bit of something for everybody in the movie. Yeah. So, now we're going to our top three. Between Aladdin and this next movie, there's a difference of six points. This movie has seven. And then, from there, the next two movies have a rating of six and five. The top three are very close. So let's get into our third favorite Disney princess movie, Beauty and the Beast. Straight up, I'm going to say I rank this one number one. This is my favorite Disney... You okay? Are you crying? No. <gasps> I'm going to say straight up, I rank this number one. This is my favorite Disney princess movie. It's my second favorite Disney movie be behind Hunchback of Notre Dame. I love Belle. She's so wonderful. Oh, amazing. You get the part of the I Want song and the the world building song in the opening number of Belle. I love that. And then you get, you know, the Belle repraise where she, it's I Want Much More Than This For Much Life goes and stands on a mountain, a cliff, a hill. A hill. It's a hill. Um, the animation's beautiful. The story's lovely. Gaston is such a wonderful villain. Like, Every and his character in this movie is so good. And they, and a lot of them get to be really funny at the same time that they get to be serious in that. Like, there's so much to enjoy about it. The connection with Gaston and LeFou Le 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 is amazing. They're just fun to watch together. And every character gets screen time. Right? Even the people who are really in Gaston's bar, they come back up as the mop. They, I know this is, yes, an animation thing to save money, but it's still helpful. And you also get to enjoy the fact that um, during all of the songs, you can hear such expression and emotion in their voices. It's wonderful. Pedro Hair does incredible. Like, you can hear when they're happy and when they're sad good. to the detail. It's beautiful. Beast is excellent. Brilliant. Everybody who walks in his castle. He has such character development. Like, Belle, I feel, stays fairly much the same. She Which isn't a problem, because Belle does what Belle, Belle needs to does do, really she does well. well. She cares about her family, she cares, uh, but she still has her family worked into her wishes, right? It's not, you're sacrificing one for the other. Um, but the Beast starts out as the Beast, and then turns into a gentleman. Side note, who curses an 11-year-old boy who lives with nothing but servants? And is very clearly having some issue because the servants have also been turned into furniture. And who cu like, cursed the servants, too? Like, <laughs> yeah. I feel, feel like... Didn't see that coming, no, guys. No, no, I'm not letting in this person who is standing outside my castle when I'm 11 because the last time a little kid let someone into their house, Snow White got poisoned. <laughs> I mean, let's think about this, guys. Let's think about that, you know? <laughs> Um, yeah, I have no complaints from being the Beast. It's no, like, beautiful. Animation, yeah. lovely. Story, wonderful. Characters, great. I Music, gotta say, perfect. for the top three, at any day, it could change the order of it. Yeah, <laughs> my top, the top two could change. Being the Beast is always number one for me. Well, the thing is, with our top three, it's our three favorite movies. And it was all at the wills of the other two to rank them higher or lower. All of these were ranked 1, 2, 3, which is And excellent. I could not figure out the difference between the next movie and Beauty and the Beast. It was very hard. It's just the one I remembered a bit better. So, next up, again with a difference of 1, this has 6 of 36 points, is Tangled. So, let's start with Marie, who gave Tangled the best rating, because it is her favorite princess movie. I also meant to say number one and number three. I just read it completely wrong. But anywho, I think it's a beautiful movie. I love the singing. I love Pascal. I love all the characters. It's just such a fun movie to watch, and you can just be such a little kid while watching it. It's just amazing. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Rapunzel is such a nice princess. She has the development where she starts off more passive and then grows stronger and polite. Uh... You always have her as that whimsical and fun. The, uh, at the, at last I see the light. So pretty. The lanterns. 
are beautiful, and just the way that Flynn, Eugene, and Rapunzel look at each other melts your heart. Flynn, Rado, or Eugene, whatever you, you prefer to call best them. Disney De- be- best, best Disney, Disney Prince. Best Without a doubt. Like, so great. And he just met her one day wanting the clown back that he had after she hit him with a frying pan. By the way, frying pan, that's the weapon of choice. But um, over the course of the movie, he stops wanting the clown back and he just wants Rapunzel to like be his happy. Like his his new dream. It's it's amazing and the I love them ending together. See, not the the ending scene. I know it's not necessarily the fight. The the ending fight scene with Mother Gotham when Eugene climbs up the tower and you can like hear the strain of the voice. Amazing voice acting there. One of my favorite scenes. And he gets any scene. and everyone Ever. in the theater just goes no. If I could have one complaint for that movie, it's that you cut her hair. Her hair is beautiful. Right. But, like, how does she get that haircut? I'm jealous. It's gorgeous. Like, with a piece of glass. With a piece of glass. And so pretty. That Flynn did it for her was just, I want to die for you to be safe. It's just so sweet. Mother Gothel, just, amazing villain. That was a DX to Mother Gothel. Red, uh, big red there. Um, so, yeah, Tangle's great. We, we don't have bad things to say about these top movies. So we'll just move on with, to number one, which caught... Five out of 36. One person here rated it number one. The other two rated it number two. And it is Princess and the Frog. So, this movie crashed in the box office. It did not do well. And those people are crazy. Because this movie is excellent. The animation, though it is not as refined as some of the others, that's the point. It is meant to look like a storybook paper animation. And it is so... Pretty Tiana is such an amazing Tiana's character. My favorite Disney princess. She works so hard, but she still has that passion for family. And then it goes on, and she realizes that it's family that matters to her. That's what's driving her. Like the she works for a family. Naveen, his character development, all the side characters, the visuals the in visuals. Friends on the other side. All of those are amazing. Like the last part. After they shake hands and friends are on the other side, is the best visual in that movie. It is excellent. Uh, uh, one of my favorite, probably maybe my favorite Disney love song, which is Evangeline, Aww. which I think is absolutely spectacular. Evangeline's so sweet. Uh, you have the really upbeat of going down the bayou. You have the the really nice opening of Down in down New Orleans. And then, uh, one of my favorite songs in it, next to Friends on the Other Side, which is a very good visual song, is, um, Almost There. Almost There. Almost There Spectacular. So good. And I'd like to just mention here, Princess and the Frog is, I put it as my favorite uh, Disney princess movie, but I'm also biased because it's my favorite Disney movie. Yeah. Overall. I absolutely adore it. Well, this, is, this list is 100% opinionated. It has nothing to do with how good, like, technically or in cinematography the film is. This is completely how much we like it. It's just how much we like it. Oh, so I really enjoy that you start off with the prince not wanting to do anything, really, to... Being a hard worker. Tiana teaching him and, in the end, walking in the restaurant and doing all of that with her, for her. Which is amazing. Charlotte and the oh, yeah. dad are fun. They're fun. They have they're purpose. Good. And they, they have a nice drive. Their and connection with Tiana is amazing. They don't want anything. They're just friends. Somewhere. Yeah, the mom. Mom's good. It's very nice. The subtleties of having your father killed off. In yeah, that can't be a Disney movie without a dead parent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Princess and the Frog checks off all the boxes. So, that's it right now from the eight doors. Please let us know what your favorite Disney princess movie is. And don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day, everyone.